my god. The hell? America, the country with the largest army in the world. Before starting the video, if you like this kind of videos, you can subscribe to our channel. America is making huge investments in the military field in order to have a say in the world. And it is constantly developing its defense industry by introducing new technologies. The current population of America is 341 million. That's a lot of people. Now we will start with the land forces and we will examine the naval and air forces respectively. The American army has a total of 2.127,000 military personnel. Oh my days. 1,328,000 are active and 799,000 are reserve personnel. America is the only country in the world that has nearly 200,000 military personnel outside its borders and also has nearly 1,000 bases in the world. You know what? You know what it is for America? A lot of their citizens, not all of them, but a lot of them are proud to serve in the military. So they have less struggle recruiting than other countries like Britain. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's still difficult, but they're more likely to be like, yeah, I want to serve for my country because they're more patriotic. They love the country. Mm. And I... <clears throat> Thanks to these, it enables it to launch military operations very quickly in most of the world. This allows it to get ahead in the war. America has more than 6,300 tanks in total. That is so much. <laughs> Crazy. 1595 self-propelled artillery. Twenty eight hundred towed artillery. And fourteen ten rocket projectors. With all those rockets, they're trying to take out Homelander or Superman or something. They're not messing about. That's a lot. That's so much weaponry. It's oh my insane. God. Tanks play the main role in ground forces. The M1A2 Abrams, with the most powerful armor and technology, is the main battle tank of the army. Naval forces. Navy. We know about the Navy, boy. Don't know about that one, though. The main purpose of the naval forces is to prevent dangers from the sea and support operational troops on land and in the air with high technologies and long-range weapons mounted on it. Mm -hmm. There are a total of 472 ships in the U.S. Navy. Eleven of these ships are aircraft carriers. Right. Am I right to say the U.S. have the most aircraft carriers in the world? Let us know, guys, if that is true, because I think that is. Eleven is meant to be a lot. Well, yeah. yeah. They're massive, those ships. Mm. <clears throat> Nine are helicopter carriers. Damn. There are 75 destroyers. Take off. 23 corvettes. 64 submarines. Five patrol ships. And eight mine warfare ships. Mine warfare. The United States is a country that has dominated the world in naval forces. Aircraft carriers are very important for the U.S. and it has invested heavily in them. As a result, it has more aircraft carriers than all the other countries in the world. Oh, he's on combined. The US also, yo, here's me saying they'll have more than like a cut. I don't think all of them combined. He, he just answered your single-handedly, yeah, but not combined. That's a shock. Yeah, that's crazy has the largest aircraft carriers in the world. When these aircraft carriers are equipped with state-of-the-art fighter jets, a great power emerges and has a great advantage in war. Another of the U.S.'s most important weapons at sea are submarines. Mm -hmm. Submarines are one of the most effective military hardware developed throughout history. Submarines are the most advanced and powerful means of warfare after aircraft carriers providing the ability to attack sea and land targets at great distances. Air 
That's actually crazy. Imagine a missile like that just coming from underwater. What do you do with that? Well, you can't run for your life. It'll <laughs> kill you regardless. You're going to be gone regardless. Yeah. Force. <clears throat> the most important weapons in warfare are air forces. Because countries that cannot control the airspace are doomed to defeat. Mm. The USA is a very advanced and technologically advanced powerful country in this regard. The United States has a total of 13 209 aircraft. 1854 of them are That's fighter so aircraft. many, 13,000. 896 attack aircraft. 957 transports. Twenty six forty eight trainers, six ninety five special mission aircraft, six hundred six tanker fleet, fifty seven thirty seven helicopters. Now we know where all the military money goes. That equipment. helicopter looks sick, I can't lie. That helicopter looks like... Yeah. That looks like something uh, the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, will, will yeah. be driving around, be flying about. That looks like something you've seen Call of Duty, and I don't even play that game. Yeah, that's proper. <laughs> that is proper. <laughs> Can I? And 1,000 attack helicopters. Wow. Fighter jets and attack helicopters, which play an important role in the Air Force, can change the course of wars. Mm. America has made significant technological breakthroughs in fighter jets and has developed itself in this field. The tasks of fighter jets are used to bomb targets on land and water, to neutralize other aircraft, and to perform reconnaissance missions. These fighter jets play a multifaceted role and are equipped with a variety of weapons and equipment and participate in various military operations. They are designed to meet the strategic and tactical needs of the Air Force in these missions. America is constantly increasing the number of weapons by continuous production. In fact, the issue that is more important than these numbers is technology. Since the USA knows this issue, it is constantly making improvements in technology. One thing I rate about the US, they never got complacent with their power because they, they obviously when they became the most you know powerful uh, military, they could have kind of just been like, yeah, we're powerful. And then kind of just sat back. Anymore. I feel like that's yeah. what Britain done. Britain was the most powerful. They kind of done their conquering or whatever they done. They and then chilled. they kind of be like, yeah, made allies with America, let America take over and be like, yeah, like it's cool. But really if America wants to take out Britain, they can now when before they couldn't. But they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Because we're best friends now. But this is the thing. America, why they're sick and why I, I love it is because they said, no, fuck, we're always developing. They're always, always renovating. Always, non-stop. Yeah. Like, no one could even they're try and get anything. close. They're ready for anything. Anyone that tries and gets close, they'll push it even further. Yeah. And it also creates new technological weapons day by day. Of course, it's incredible. a price must be paid for all of these. America's defense budget for 2024 is $831,781,000. Oh, it has managed to become the first in the world in the defense industry position because it has continuously increased its defense budget. Non-stop. Nuclear power. Nuclear weapons are used to inflict much more damage than general explosives. Just one weapon used has the power to completely destroy an entire city or wow. country both living and non-living. Disastrous. That is why we hope that these weapons are not used. Yeah. Nuclear weapons were originally built to be used as a deterrent. The USA has a total of 5428 nuclear warheads. The most powerful countries in the world in the position of nuclear power are America and Russia. Mm. In this video, we examined the military power of the United States, which is number one in the military field. US military. What are you thinking with the technology? Does it look like they're still going to be number one in 2024? Yeah. Yeah, clearly. The, as the commentator showed, they just keep pumping money in. Every to the year military. goes up. 
and they're not hesitant about it either. It's just about renovating in terms of what they have, how can they make it better. Creative ideas, hiring geniuses. Technology is always, technology is like the one that's the fastest growing. Yeah. So. Oh, it's starting to hit a peak, I feel like, in technology in general. But this is the stuff we get to see. So imagine all the stuff behind closed doors that haven't even touched mainstream eyes at all. Yeah. They're probably so much ahead than what we've just seen today. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for the recommendation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like more military videos, comment them below. We'll react to them. And check out our previous military videos because we've done loads of content like this. For now, peace out. Bye.